Hello dear lovely people. It is Sakino on Sunday again. Sakino on Sunday, for those of you who are watching for the first time, is a video that I record every week, almost every week, where I share my reflections and thoughts and my feelings and I share them because mainly I want to stay connected. And I also want to share my thoughts and reflections because I think or I believe that sharing is helping. Sharing is helping to Well, to grow, to be supported, to feel that there are others who maybe feel and think the same. So this is one, some of the reasons why I'm doing these videos. And also I like to talk. So it's also kind of selfish. So this week this morning, actually, I was thinking about the right time. What is the right time? Well, there are even philosophies about the right time. And there is a poem which I was reminded of this morning when I thought about the theme, which there's a right time, f time for everything. There is a time for birth. There is a time for dying, there is a time for um, planting, there is a time for harvesting. So yes, I agree. In some aspects, there is the right time for things to happen. And for other things, the right time is very personal. It's not an objective time, like in spring it's a time for planting, in autumn it's a time for harvesting. These are more regular times that are coming and going and coming and going regularly every year. I'm more thinking of those right times in ourselves when if we are connected to ourselves we feel now is the right time to make this choice or now it's the right time to end this friendship or relationship or we feel now it's the right time to start something new. Or we feel now it's time to rest because I've worked so much now, I need to rest. I need to recover, to recharge my body, mind, soul system. And that's the times I, I was reflecting about. How can we recognize the right time for something? Well, it's not so easy sometimes. I think it requires that we are connected to ourselves, to our body, to our emotional state, to our soul, what our soul wants and needs. And actually, for me, this was very difficult to learn. I was so used when I was young, I was just following my passion and what I wanted to do and so I just did and worked and pursued my path 
in the way that I could do at that time and I completely did not listen to my body or to my emotional state. So with all the doing, I was covering up some very deep pain that I didn't want to feel. And that pain was definitely connected to my family of origin and the things that happened there, all the suffering and pain I was going through at, as a child and as a young girl. And so with this doing, I tried to cover up what I didn't want to feel. And then my body collapsed. That was when my mother had died and I, I fell ill with tuberculosis. And it just took me out for a long time, almost a year. And my body knew this was the right time to stop me from basically killing myself. So sometimes my body, and I believe everybody's body, knows better what's the right time for whatever activity, for stopping, taking a break, in a, in a very simple mode. When we are hungry, when our body feels hungry, we need to eat. It's the right time to eat. When our stomach is full, it's the right time to stop eating. So our bodies know very well what they need and what is the right time for any activity or non-activity. So for me, at that time, falling sick with tuberculosis made me aware it made me aware of my not listening not knowing the right time so my body was teaching me to notice the right time There were other events in my life which were teaching me the right timing. And now, in hindsight, most of the time, those were painful events that showed me it's the right time to change something. Another event was my, the ending of my marriage. I was not aware that it was the right time to separate. I was kind of dragging myself along what I had chosen to be my path. Staying with my partner because this was a concept I had learned from my childhood until death does part you only after the separation actually years later I realized it was the right time because I would not have been able to really be 
who I am and pursue what my heart and soul were telling me already within that relationship. So in that situation, it was my partner who initiated the separation and I was feeling like a victim of that decision. But years later, I realized it was the right time. And I was grateful. And I even told him later that I was grateful that he did the step because I couldn't have. So the right time sometimes shows up in hindsight later. And, and for me, the art is to learn to recognize when it's the right time to do or not do something. To listen and learning to listen every day deeper to my body, to my soul, to my emotional state. Actually, I think the body is a good indicator. The body talks. The body tells us when it's the right time to do or not do something. So listening to the body is a good thing to do. The right time. Now it's the right time to stop this video. Thank you for listening. And I wish and hope for you that you are living your life in a way that at the right time you do the right thing for yourself. Have a good Sunday and a good week ahead.